Uh, but at the same time, you know, I'm a senior, so it's my last one. So, like I said, it's bittersweet. You know, I'm glad we got to, you know, the, the chance to come out here and get better as a team, and I think we did that overall. How do you think the game went today? Well, I think it went well. I mean, our, our scoring system is a lot different from the most teams. Uh, our, our head coach is, is an offensive coach. I think it's a little bit biased, but, you know, what can you do? We went out there and we competed well, so that's what I'm happy about. Anybody jump out at you this spring that, that's really taking a big step forward? We had, we had a lot of guys that, that really, you know, stood up this, this spring and had, had a good spring. You know, Sean Porter was out for, you know, most of the uh, in the middle part of it, but he came out and he had you know a week of really good practice this week. Uh, our whole defensive line, you know, hats off to them. They had they had one of the best springs that I've seen, and they showed they have a lot of talent. They're gonna go, they're gonna go far, you know, in, in life, you know, with that. Uh, as far as secondary goes, you know, we you know our projected starters, you know, we had three of them out, but the way that the other guys stepped up, you know, they're gonna, there's gonna be a lot of competition back there this year, you know, who's gonna be starting this year in the secondary. But I think overall, you know, everyone competed really well. We had a lot of leadership, and we had a lot of things that go really well for us this spring. Did you have a chance to see Christian Michael run much, and if so, your impressions of him now that he's coming back in the Uh I think he started off kind of slow, uh, you know, in the spring. He, you know, I don't think he trusted it. Uh, towards the end, he, he started running like the old C Mike, and you can really see it out there today. Tannehill, the, the unquestioned starting quarterback, what have you seen from him? Tannehill's Tannehill. I mean, he's going to go out and he's going to do everything he's got every day. You know, he's got classes for half a day, and to be able to come out and learn and learn our complicated offense, you know, it, it shows what kind of character and what type of guy he is. Um, he came out, you know, he picked us apart a few days, you know, we gave him real times a few days. I mean, he's going to come out, he's going to compete every day, and he's going to get the offense going. Uh, we got working out, running, all that stuff starting up on Monday. We don't get much of a break. <laughs> How much easier was the second spring under Coach DeRuiter? Uh It was a lot easier. You know, the first spring we had, you know, the big thing was coming in, you know, learning all the, you know, the technical stuff and, you know, three steps here, look back to him and, you know, all the, the terminology and things were a lot harder, you know, coming in. But uh, now that we've had a year under, you know, we know all that stuff. We were able to put stuff in a lot faster. We got, you know, we've already added another three or four more defenses uh, just this spring. So, you know, it's going well for us so far. I think guys are stepping up, buying in, and we're going to be really good this year. Trent is a three-year starter, as a senior to be. What did it mean to you to get awarded with the defensive most improved player? I mean, that should show you maybe how far you've, you've come, even as a from junior to senior. Well, I, I think what the big deal was, you know, it was a personal goal of mine to get better this year because, I mean, it's almost over for me. You know, this is my last my last go-around, my last rodeo. So, uh it was a goal of mine to come out here and, you know, step up as a leader and, and, and take that role and as well as get better on the field. So uh, that's what I did. You know, I'm happy the coaches saw, saw it as well. And you've been banged up, but with the secondary totally, you know, like a mash unit, how much did it just kind of motivate you to continue to play, even though maybe day-to-day -day nicks and cuts, you, you probably wanted to go sit on the side too, but you really couldn't. Yeah, I mean, our, our, you know, three of our projected starters, you know, from the guys that came back from last year, they went out there with us this spring. You know, they're all, you know, getting back from their injuries. Uh, so, you know, I felt a little added weight to go out there and, you know, be there for the young guys who are going to be stepping up. You know, Tony, Tony, uh, Tony Harry, he was a freshman coming out there, and he was thrown right into the starting corner position, you know, coming out the spring. And so, you know, a lot, there was a lot of guys like that that really got thrown into the mix. You know, I felt, you know, added pressure to go out there and just kind of be there for them, you know, you know calm them down. And, you know, get him ready to go. How impressed were you with Tony Hurd, particularly when they moved him over to cover Jeff? It seemed like he, he's more than held his own. Oh, yeah, he's did a really good job. You know, Jeff probably has, you know, six or seven inches on him and yeah. probably 20, 30 pounds. And so uh, the way he went out and competed and, and really got after Jeff, I was really happy, you know, the type of player he's become. And uh, he's stepping up on, in his own right now.